Hello friends, after factor analysis, we will learn how to test the reliability of each of these factors. So, you will see here that we have five different factors here, means easy, fast, secure and benefits. One by one, we will test the reliability of each of these factors. For that, the items which are part of these factors. So for use we have these five items. So let's start and do the reliability test of factor use. We'll click analyze then we will click scale reliability and now we have the window. Now see these are the five items for the factor use. We have more statistics in uh, reliability test. We can construct tables for descriptive purpose like item, scale, correlation, summaries, ANOVA table and some other test. So, we will not do all these tests in this video, simply we will do some descriptive analysis and also the scale if item deleted, also the correlation and we will continue it. Now here you have to write the name of that factor, so it will be visible there in the output. Now this is the reliability test of scale use which is the name of our factor. Now if you see this is the sample size 139 and this is the Cronbex alpha. So it is 0.859 and a standardized item 0.862. It's quite high if uh, this value is more than 0.6 it is acceptable but uh, 0.7 and above is good number see here in this scale we have five items this is the descriptive analysis with mean standard deviation and sample size this is the inter item correlation matrix it shows the correlation between the two items any of the, these two items and see it is more, most of them is above 0.5 or near to 0.5 so high correlation within the scale so it shows high consistency also item deleted so if we delete question number 8 it is the new mean, it is the new variation, variance, it is the corrected item total correlation, squared multiple correlation and this is you see if any of your the value of Cronbach alpha is low you can see these this these numbers and it will show if you delete one of them how does it will can increase your overall value of Cronbach's alpha after deleting one of these factors and this is the scale statistics the overall mean variance standard deviation number of items and this is also the ANOVA table thank you so much